Oh, how are you listening to? Guess what? I'm catching you off guard. You can't catch me off guard. Welcome to the songwriting podcast. Today we're going to help Robert write a song. All right. So we want to talk about that. We're going to write you a song. All right. Wait, actually, before you do, this is actually the Frying Pan Podcast. Is pop it? culture podcast. Your mom and dad and your dog's favorite pop culture podcast. And your grandma. And your grandma. Well, some people don't have those. It's touchy. But stuff. they would still still like it. They would like it. Anyways. Uh, our good friend, our near and dear, the co-host of the show, Robert Mother Truck and D'Onofrio, has to come up with a song for his art class. Screenwriting class. Your sculpting class. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You no, have to sculpt a song. Like, he caught me so off guard, because, you know, he's like, yeah, we have to, you guys gotta write a song, and, well, the purpose of this exercise is that it's supposed to be terrible, but it's to have story writing in such a confined level of writing and in my head i'm just like like fuck the storytelling like i could tell stories but like as soon as he said music my heart stopped because like i'm as musically inclined as well what's the least musically inclined thing i can think of like a tone deaf person maybe i might as well be tone deaf and actually deaf okay i'm and I'm not I, talking like Beethoven level where you could still feel the vibrations. Like I might as well be a, just a sentient being that can't hear, see, or feel. Um, I, there's a lot of flaws with that whole sentence right there, but fuck I'm, off. It's fine. I'll, I'll let you have it. <laughs> I, I I have no musical ability. I couldn't even tell you what a good song is. And as you guys know, my friends know, Dan knows, my music taste is also like three years behind. I mean. Music taste is subjective. You're not good. There's no good song or bad song. There's popular songs and not popular hey, songs. You guys hear that this this song called "Drip Too Hard"? It's it's really <laughs> oh, a banger. I saw, I saw a great meme today of um. You, have you seen the ones where it's like the I had on my head out SpongeBob ones? Oh, I visual love memes, those. by the way. Um, love and where those. where it's like they get up and then it shows him running to something. It was like um. Him getting up out of the chair, then running to a dance floor, and then the um, tag was "Somebody Call Nine One." Oh, <laughs> dude, you sent that. It was so funny. Joy Five heard it. Oh, I love it's, that song. It's exactly. You know what? Whenever I hear that song, I get flashbacks to, I think like sixth or seventh grade, and we're at Rod and Roll, the roller skating Ooh, rink. Uh huh. And I got my blades on because my I could blades. roller blade, not skate, for some reason. I can't either. I can't skate. I don't know what it is. Uh, I I don't like rollerblading because every time I find new ways to do a split and it's just like I see I'm good. I'd like to be good at skating. I feel like that'd be a nice niche thing to have. Eh, I mean, okay, it's not very fun to be honest with you. Like, I guess if you could do cool shit, but like, I had the blades on. There was shoddy fire burn in the dance floor, mm-hmm. otherwise known as. I it's had just that fire. IS song. No, it's Sean Kingston. No, no Sean Kingston. Yeah, I'm thinking of replay. Yeah, that's another good one. Um. Anyways, I, I I would just go in circles, and I'd be like, "Bro, look at me! I'm going in circles on wheels." Well, I just think it's interactive. I think skating, like ice skating, is cool, but like rollerblading, Fuck ice skating. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it, but rollerblading's it served its time. I'm past it. Yeah, I'd rather go bowling. Yeah. Haven't been bowling in a long time. We should go bowling just so we can <laughs> clap our friend that brings his own shoes and ball. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he brings the towel. He's polishing the ball. Gutter. So, yeah. uh, Mini story. We went bowling as a group, and our friend that had his own shoes and ball was talking mad smack leading up to this bowling of like, yeah, guys, I went bowling last week, bowled like a 205. I don't know. Some, some good bowling score. Yeah. And we're like, oh, shit. Tyler's going to come and just... Oh, I'm doxing him. He's no, gonna come no, and just, uh, it's fine. He's gonna come and show us how to do it. He, he got did, last. Yeah, he he did not indeed show us how to do it. No, he honestly it was almost embarrassing that he brought his own shoes and ball with yeah. his performance. I just think he he put himself under a lot of pressure. He put himself under the magnus magnifying glass and he just could not deliver. Probably. I mean like okay. Another thing that was kind of embarrassing is like I beat him and my strategy in bowling is just let's see how hard I could throw the ball oh. down the center. Well, uh, a lot of my strategy in bowling goes uh yeah, how hard can I throw it? And then it turns into like what's the coolest way that I could knock down like three pins? Mm. And then I start like throwing it between the legs. Yeah. I like get down on the ground and I just like push mm. it. <laughs> and then I have the conversation of 
Huh. Am I righty or am I lefty in bowling? Well, okay, I'll do both. <laughs> am I underhand or overhand? <laughs> what is it, like duck pin bowling where you can go overhand? I think so. I love the videos of, um, I, I literally watched a video of somebody, um, like, drop 10 like a quarterback and just throw just, it at the pins and get a strike. My God. It was Could you imagine being terrible. that manly? Imagine being the person next to him. <laughs> What's a 15-pound bowling ball just down the 30-foot stretch? Yeah, I'd, I'd be either convinced that he's a god or a serial killer. There's no real in-between. Good or, spectrum or to be on. Li- yeah, you could just look, Dan. <laughs> Which I guess both could respectively do. Yeah. Shit. But back to the main topic. Um, Bowling. No, no, no. Your song. So, oh, fuck. We'll, we'll help you write a song later. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, basically, long story short, I want to freaking scream because I don't have any musical ability. And now, ba- okay, so I've started it already. I'm not going to read it because it's actually super edgy. Mm-hmm. But, like, I'm like, all right. I can say a whole bunch, but does it mean anything? And that's where I'm at. Like, I can say things that sound kind of emotional and emo and like, oh, that definitely could be a song lyric, but together it means absolutely nothing. Hey, man, a lot of music comes from your personal experiences and things that matter to you. Joke's on you. Nothing matters to me and I've never done anything. Okay, well, maybe get outside for once. I don't know what the outside is. I'm afraid to be alive. Well, then how'd you get here? Um, <laughs> I've been here the whole time, Dan. Oh, well, interesting. I've, yeah, Dan keeps me in his basement chained to his old workout equipment. The basement that I do not have for I am in an apartment. Nope, the basement. Okay, well, it's not mine, but yeah, there is a basement. Um, other than that, how are, you, how are you doing besides your song? Hanging in? Living your best life? Hey, man. Another day, another dollar. Another you day, already know. Another day, another dollar for the Don. That's, that's what they'd be saying to me. Mm. You know, I could be super depressing and be like, nah, it's, it's shit. It's not that shit. It's yeah. just... It could always be worse. Not feeling today. Yeah. And you know what? I feel that too. Yeah. Except today, um, today was the first day, because we have like a company minivan, and it has like logos and everything, and it drives about the same as... um. Like the Ford Focus, you take your test drives in when you're 16, learning how to drive. <laughs> oh my god, these were always so heavy on the pedal for yep. some reason. Yeah, the pedal felt like there was a center block underneath, and I had to like break the cinder block to get it down. But um, yeah, I got to make some deliveries by myself today, and it was very that must have been stressful. It it was uh, the only thing I was stressful is I went to um, drop some. I was dropping shirts off for a high school, and um, I just walked through the front door, and the there's there was like a um like a secretary dude, but he wasn't in the main office. He was in front of the main office. He was like the secretary's secretary kind of deal. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But he got mad at me that I didn't have like a visitor's pass. And I'm like, Brody, I'm just, I'm delivering shit. I'm not here to see my little Jimbo. And it's like, yo, just take my fucking shirts. And Fuck them kids. And there was, I, I have a big gripe with this. There's one kid. I, I have my hand truck. I'm dropping off the shirts. I'm leaving with my hand truck. I got to lug this thing behind me. What does the kid in front of me do? That's like from me to you where we are, which so is literally like three not, feet. Yeah. Four feet. What does he do? Not hold the door. And then I, it, there's the second one. I'm like, oh, he'll get the second one. Doesn't hold the door. And I wanted to just like run at his uh, Achilles with the hand truck and just fucking take him out <laughs> and for his whole months. career. Just like, yeah, what's that football star? Try cripple. Yeah, just say, like, oh, were you excited for basketball season? Unlucky. Yeah, <laughs> unlucky. I severed your tendons. You can't even jump. Yeah, but then I remember I'm a young adult and I don't really need to be fucking up a kid's life. <laughs> Why not? Um, I don't think I've. I don't think I've won that, uh... Fuck them kids, dude. Fuck them kids. Yeah, sometimes. That's, like, my favorite quote lately for some reason. Dude, kids are super disrespectful these days. Honestly. Like, every <laughs> every interaction... As if I wasn't one, like, two years ago. I know. Like, every interaction I have with, like... I'd say, like, sophomores in high school. Like, whether it just be, like, seeing them at a store, they're just obnoxious. Not to say that I'm not, but... I feel like the younger generations nowadays have way less of a filter than we did that's what i'm saying like yeah. they just kind of do anything i was walking to your apartment last week and some kid that's probably like seven years old is like sup random dude from across the lot as if like i gave a shit about the kid so i'm like why 
I get like I guess when I was a kid, like if I saw someone I didn't know, I'd be like, guys, shut up. Yeah, like, no, exactly. I don't know if that picked up. Basically, I whispered, guys, shush, there's a guy there. Yeah. Like, that would be me. And I, I'm i not trying to say I look intimidating. I don't look like the nicest dude that you'd be like, sup, random dude, too. Yeah, that's how I feel. But what do we know? Maybe we're just out of touch. Yeah, maybe kids these days are just, like, elite. They're, be- they're, beast. they're beasts. They're just beasts. Yeah, no, they're definitely too much swag. Too some much say. Oh, my. Remember when swag was, like, the word? Of course they do. A good time. Um, speaking of kids, um, this is going to segue into our first topic. Uh, I have hair in my mouth. I wonder why. Um, Wait. <laughs> our first topic is about a kid that we all grew up with. My near and dear to my heart, Ash Ketchum. Oh, I actually had no clue where that segue <laughs> was going. On. Okay. Well, after years, 20 years, 22 years even, of being 10 years old, he finally has accomplished a goal that he set out, and that was to win a Pokemon League championship. He is... Finally a drum Pokemon roll, Drum roll for me. Please, Ma- Manster? Drum, Manster? Drum, drum. Can I get a drum roll? Uh, uh, where is it? Alola? I think it's Alola. It's basically Hawaii, the Hawaiian Islands for equivalent to Pokemon, but Ash Ketchum, after 22 years, finally won his Pokemon championship. Now... I know you don't watch Pokemon. Did sure. you watch Pokemon? I watched Pokemon back in uh, Black Pearl, Black, but not Black Pearl. That's a that's a ship. Uh, <laughs> I remember that. Uh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Diamond and Pokemon Pearl? crossover. Is that the one with Dawn? Yeah, Diamond and no, Pearl? that was uh, Gen three. So Diamond and Pearl? No, that's, for the show. It's the one before it, but like it's fine. No, yeah, no, no, no. no you're right, actually. Yeah, I, I was thinking of May. I know okay, you're good. Okay, keep I'm going. always sorry. Right. Okay. I'm always right. No, no, no. That's why I stopped watching it. Long Story Short. And yeah. let me tell you, Pokemon movies slapped when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Like, l- the one with Lucario in it, that shit was... Oh, that was good. Fire! I-, I remember the Mewtwo one made me cry, of course. Oh, yeah. The one with the Wish Pokemon that was like... That oh, had Jirachi. the time travel. Jirachi, that one was good. I think it was Jirachi and Deoxys. I remember there was one I didn't like... It had no, I don't, like the little Celebes. Yeah, it had Celebi. I didn't like that one. You didn't like that one? That it, one was just, so emotional and sad at the end. It took so long. I just, don't re- I, just, I just think I don't remember. It was more or less. Uh, that was the first one where they were like, I think it's 720p. You might be right. No. Yeah, I think that yeah. was like the first like HD one. I think so. I remember that one. I remember the Lugia one. Ooh. Uh, the one with Entei. The dog one, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, yep. with the... Where he talked. The Raikou. Oh, yeah, there's a Raikou. The, the one with um, the the guy, the Pokemon's like, I'm turning the whole world into crystal for this one girl. Randomly. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That one was a, that one was a slap. Yeah. The Pokemon new, movies were great. Pokemon movies, I think they're still good. I haven't watched any of the, like, decently newer ones, like the ones past uh, Gen 4, but I was... <laughs> it's weird, because, like, I'll... I'll occasionally see, um, like, Rod Tomato score, it's like 98, 95, 87. Hell yeah, like, man. Okay. I'm telling you what, I'll go watch the Lucario one right the fuck now. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how it holds up. Actually, I know the Mewtwo one holds up. That was one of the first. I heard that one did hold I think up that, a lot. I think that one was just called Pokemon the Movie. I don't remember. Because I remember that was the first one. I think so. But. The one Lucario had Mew in it, right, hmm. as well? Like, the first Mew? Yeah. Okay. The OG one. I didn't know if those were two separate ones. No, no, you're good. Okay. But, you know, through the years, through grown the years. up with them. I mean, obviously, I don't want to say I've grown out of the show, but I definitely haven't watched it, because I have grown out of the show. He looks fucking weird now. I, I think he looks cool. I like the animation that they switched to. I, I just it's, haven't actually watched it. Yeah. Like, the animation's really good. It's just very different to what it distinctly was for so many years, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, on that subject, our friend linked a sign that, like, was Ash's old quotes, and he was downright mean as hell to the first girl. Misty, I think her name was. Oh, yeah. He, like, he was like, mean it? Like, mean, mean. Yeah. Well, though, it was like they had, like, a... It was kind of like a brother-sister dynamic. Mm. Where they're always button heads and stuff, and then Brock was the mom of the group. I like that Brock was actually a predator. <laughs> Brock was Brock was scary. He was actually a predator. <laughs> yeah, he he didn't stop. Like even Kid Me was like, that's that's probably not okay. Yeah, I, I, I hope there's people listening that actually have no clue what Pokemon is, and they're just like, 
the fuck are these guys talking about? Dude, well, that's the thing, is, like, this shit was on every single news outlet possible. <laughs> like, the article I'm reading, I, like, I saw it prior, but CNN covered it. I know um, Fox covered it. Fox covered it. ESPN yeah. put a post out on it. <laughs> ESPN, let's go! And I was, I don't know, it's just I so think funny. NBC did, too. Yeah, I think, like, all the major news outlets did, because, I mean... When you think about it, this is 22 years in the making. It was all leading up to this one uh, Is moment. that why my mom asked me if I still played Pokemon? Maybe. Th- that would make sense. Would make she, did, sense. She, she did go like, hey, do you still play that Pokemon game? And I'm like, I've never played that Pokemon game. She's like, oh. oh. So maybe that's why. Sorry, Robert. Sorry. I didn't mean to have Sorry, Don. But get out of here, Mom. You know I was a Yu-Gi-Oh kid. I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> I was a Magic the Gathering kid, Mom, and you know it. I, my God, if I had the money to be a Magic the Gathering kid, you have to sell your soul to, to yeah, be in that game. Yeah, to my knowledge, that is the case. But I mean, po- and then I think we talked about the Pokemon card game making absolutely no fucking no sense. No fucking sense. Yeah, but so many extras that it didn't even come with that you needed. Yeah, like the fuck, kid. Like, me, it was just like I do more damage that equals your health. You're dead. Goodbye. But it, and then he's like, oh no no, flips a coin. Now you do the damage to yourself, and then you're like, well, how does that work? And he's like, well, you see, I have three water cards, two electric cards, and one, um, well, I don't remember what the white one was. And then he's like, well, white. yeah, and my victory bell used reflect. So during, due to these circumstances, my da- your damage is transferred back to you. Yeah, fuck and then that. you, Yeah, and then you just kind of like take your cards, fold them up, and then you're just like, yeah, I just like how they look. I don't want to get yeah. into this. And then you had, like, uh, did you have all their siblings that were like, these could be worth money someday. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, that's how my dad is with baseball cards, and I have, like, I know I have this one tin in my room that's, like, probably 1,500 cards. It is, uh, oh, God, look at that. But, yes. Wait, is this 1,500 cards? Uh, baseball s- cards? Yeah, I'd say around 1,000. Um, Jesus. maybe someday I should go through them and see if any of them are worth money, but the only one I know that it actually is... has one that's like 70k. Yeah, well, I know the only one I know is valuable is I have like a Barry Bonds rookie card, but I don't know how much that would sell for. Well, you know, I read something on, uh, on collectibles and how they are probably not going to be worth money in our time. Yeah. Because back when they were worth money, this is specifically talking about comic books, but it's applied to most things like cards, mm-hmm. is... Comic books got rare because they genuinely were a niche thing that didn't have mass production on. Yeah. The, the company was like, all right, we're putting out 500,000 and that's that. Mm-hmm. You know, whereas nowadays we almost print on demand and then some. Yeah. So there won't be any modern day comics that will probably be worth much unless it's from a company that specifically puts out a certain number. Yeah. You know, and then with baseball cards, it was the same thing. Is like there was more of a chance back then because they didn't have so many different packs. No, I got you. So I guess like I should just throw out everything I've been collecting at this point. Well, I mean, some people just like to collect to collect. Yeah, like my sharp thing collection. Yeah, people like bottle caps. Normally, bottle caps probably worth jack shit, but they you, like it. You could collect Pez and be a freaking serial killer. Yeah, oh my god, honestly. It's in the mint condition. It's like, well, if you're actually eating Pez in the first place, you're kind of a serial killer. What do you think the like most pointless or useless thing to collect is? Uh, like, dirt. Alright, that's that's fair. I mean, unless you're like, I collect soil from every place I travel, and I've tra- I'm traveling the world, then it's like, okay. But if you're just like... I had a teacher that did that with rocks. That's cool. I mean, that's fine with that. But if you're just like, yeah, I like, just like dirt... And they just fill their apartment with dirt. That I don't, you know, I don't feel like that's the same thing. I don't, I don't appreciate that response. That what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You could collect what's what's a weird thing you could collect? You can collect like um, ship bags, I guess. Oh, if there's ha- like limited lace flavors. Ha- how about um, you know, soda cans when you pop the uh, oh those thing off? yeah they collect the uh, things you use to open them. I don't know what those are called. I feel like we did when I was a kid for some drive at school, for some reason. I, or am I thinking of box tops? I think you're definitely thinking of box tops because I don't think the anything. I don't think the things that open soda cans have any value at all. You know, I think what it was is at the time our town was like, "Hey, 
those aren't recyclable for some reason, so we had to take them off and put them in a bag. Oh, maybe. That would make sense, that actually. That sounds familiar for some reason. Oh. I don't know. I could be dumb as hell. You know, you could collect snow globes. I think, honestly, snow globes are cool, but could you imagine having, like, a snow globe collection? It takes up too much space. Exactly. It's and, like, it. are you going to... What, are you going to shake every one of them? At the same time, then you're all going to play the same haunting, melodic tone oh at the same God. time, just to, like, scare the shit out of anyone that ever walks in your house. I wish I was someone that was, like, a visionary for horror movies, because I could think of so many shit that would... So many things that would just be downright frightening under certain circumstances. And I always thought being, like, a, a horror movie, and I guess, visionary. You have to look for it. I think so. Right. <laughs> Specifically right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> No, I think that'd be a very cool thing to do. I've always got ideas. Let's go to Hollywood together, Dan. Get our start. No. What would you call our uh, our production company? Dan and Son. Mm. <laughs> I'll have Young to, Dan and Son. <laughs> I'll have to talk it over with management, but uh, we'll see where it goes. Or uh, Big Al's Smoke Shop. No. And it, that doesn't work in any way, shape, or form, but like... Can we, can we, get, Why back, not? Can we get back on topic? I just want to... Just want to Congratulations to my boy Ash for winning a Pokemon. Oh, League. yeah, so he's technically a Pokemon Master now? Yep. After 20 years? After 20 years, he's a Pokemon Master. Wasn't that the original goal of the show? Yeah. So That's, like, what, that's why it's so significant, because it's been like 22 years. So did he never, like, actually complete a gym? Did he just, like. Well, no, he completed the gym, but he never beat, like, the Elite Four kind of deal. He never became, like, champion. He'd get all his badges, he'd beat. He'd get all the way up there, then he'd lose. And then oh. he's like, I guess I gotta go somewhere else. Then he'd get all the way up there, lose. No, oh, I guess I gotta go somewhere else. Really? Is that how the show progressed? Yeah, so pretty just, much, yeah. Man, this guy took... A, after 20 years of L's... Yeah, he never <laughs> never gave up. Wow. He's like, probably... Well, 1, one in 10 at this point, but... Hey. Fuck it. You, mean, gotta, you gotta lose to improve. Perseverance is key. The master has lost more times than the beginner has tried. Mm. It's okay to make mistakes. You learn from them. It's not okay to make mistakes. You'll die from them. Um, no. No. Mistakes. If you make a mistake while you're driving, that could equal death. Uh, but if you don't, then you learn from your mistake. I guess that's fair. I mean, I don't think you can say... If, if, <laughs> if the mistake is you die... I guess you... No, you still learn, hey, I shouldn't have done that in the afterlife. <laughs> just so, seeing me, like, stroking my beard, freaking, as I'm floating upwards, just... Huh. Fuck, man. Shit. I knew I should have waited a second instead of writing on red. I knew I should have zigged when I zagged. Zigged when I zagged, just like that scene in Game of Thrones. Is that in Game of Thrones? What's Game of Thrones? Remember that when that scene where the kid was basically running away from the guy as he was shooting arrows, and he just ran a straight line instead of just, like... You know, serpentine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he should have zigged when he should have zagged. He died. No, he should have zigged or zagged. He should have literally done anything than what he did. But it's fine. Game yeah. of Thrones ended badly. I don't even remember the show. <laughs> I like that our, in our in our doc, it just says Joe Biden is senile, and I love it. <laughs> yeah, we can get into that next, because my new favorite thing is reading the headlines that come from Joe Biden. Uh, I talked about one from, a, a I'd say five or seven weeks ago of where he said uh poor kids have the same equal opportunity as white kids yeah that's that's not um, a good one i know that's it's not what he meant but he still said it clip it and then there was one at the debate where he said um something that kids gotta spend more time at home they gotta spend more time by the record player uh joe biden i guess did not get the memo that we have evolved past record players. We don't really use them that much anymore, unless you, uh, you know, work at Urban Outfitters. That one made me think, is he that out of touch, or is he just trying to be, like, funny? No, because no one laughed. No yeah. no one even on the internet thought it was funny. People thought it was funny because it was just so fucking well, that's the thing. out there. Have you never had, and this is going to sound stereotypical, but fuck it. Have you ever had an old white guy that has, like, said something that he thought was funny, but definitely was never funny? Well, anyone? yeah, all the time. But so, like, I just I you try to be ironic, maybe. No, I just think he's losing it, and then could be seen. How old is Joe Biden? Joe Biden is. What's your best guess? Old enough, sixty-five. Yes, let's see. Uh, we got, we got the kid. On he the is seventy-six. All right, so he's dying soon. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, he's senile at this point. 
And then he had um he had a story about uh Corn Popper, which was <laughs> what the fuck? Corn Popper the gangster that tried to kill Joe Biden. Um Yeah, he threatened him with a switchblade. Yep, he had a switchblade, Joe Biden was a lifeguard, Joe Biden said told told the kid, uh, hey, get off the board or something, or I'll beat you up or some shit like that. And then Corn Popper met him by his car and it had a switchblade to him. And he could have said the story in probably like twenty seconds, but he just was it's hard to explain. It's as if he got lost and he just kept circling back around. <laughs> it, he knew exactly where he was going, but he tried to really let you know how 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 long it took to get there. Oh, and yeah, let me tell you, it took a while. It took a while. It was like two minutes and thirty seconds of him like going from A to B, but making sure to take every detour physically possible. Yeah, but Which, it's, it's not bad for storytelling. It's just well, it wasn't an interesting it, story. It didn't. Yeah, it didn't work for his case. Sadly, it ended with him being like. Hey, gangster, sorry I called you this, but I still would have done the same thing. And the gangster was like, shit, man, you apologized, folds up knife. You're okay, Biden. You're okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, Jesus, man. I just find it funny, like, the difference between him and, say, Bernie Sanders. Like, Bernie Sanders was born in, like, 800 AD, and he's still kicking. He's still got ideas. Joe Biden was born 76 years ago. and He's, he's... only two years older than Joe. You never know. <laughs> he's a lizard. <laughs> it could be faking the documents, could be uh, a celestial being. It's kind of hard to tell. A cosmic dragon, if you will. I'd say he gets into office, he sheds his mortal skin. Fucking Zod's back. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The boys are back town. I wish a president would take that as their campaign song. The boys are back in town. I would vote for them no matter what oh, yeah, their no policy matter. is. If I saw um, like they were campaigning somewhere and it was just you hear the faint like banner, da 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 Fortune Son. <laughs> huh? Fortune Son? <laughs> yes. No, okay. Our generation, we're old enough to be president because you gotta be, I think, 40 years or older, right? 45. I think. One or the other. Yeah, you know. Doesn't matter. You know what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah. Someone picks Mo Bamba as their campaign oh, speech. Oh, man. That's a pop off. Every time they're walking on the stage, they just walk in, just, oh, fuck, shit. Bitch! <laughs> yeah, everyone in the crowd. It just turns into a mosh pit, and it's like... And then, like, all right, guys, settle down, settle, settle down. down. All right. First order of business, I want to talk about climate change. Um, <laughs> but it'd be a banger first ten seconds. Oh, uh, it would be good. Yeah, and then uh, his opponent comes in on sicko mode. And, like, a, <laughs> she's in love with who I am. And then fireworks shoot off when it goes out like a light, and he jumps out. Everyone's like, woo! Oh, my God. Woo! Money in the Grave. <laughs> oh, money. That's my exit song. We could keep going. Or, oh, how about this? Um, I set the state. All right, I'm running for president. Mm -hmm. I'm campaigning in Maine. Maine. Not Maine. How about... Virginia. Uh, how about L.A.? All right, sure. Why not? Um, I'm campaigning in L.A., and I really got to win them over. Um, I know what the kid's like. You all know the, what the kid's like? Because we're all boomers now, so I know what the boomer's like. Yeah. So... St stage is set. Um, we got like music family playing in the background. Music cuts. Lights dim because we're in an auditorium. Um, yeah. And you just hear somebody call nine one one. <laughs> and then like I start strutting on stage with backup dancers, and I got a whole routine for it. <laughs> that's what presidents honestly do at this point. Like that would get my vote. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, how could people would either be like what the fuck are you doing or just like yeah yeah i'm with it clinton wouldn't have lost if she had some nutty moves while walking up to stage she was too busy um chilling, chilling at cedar, cedar rapids hey she uh, was too chillery she was too chi chillery yeah. my god and donald trump read the election with the russians but like yeah. she could have won hey donald trump 2020 let's see if we can get him to do the dougie on stage <laughs> Donald Trump 2020, let's see if we can get him to commit tax evasion again. High oh, speed tax evasion. He did it. <laughs> oh no, he's oh, gonna do it oh, again. Watch out, Donald's gonna do it again. <laughs> watch out, Donald. Anyways, Bernie, Bernie Sanders just on there on his left, last breath, just like, I want kids to have free college. And Donald Trump <laughs> is like, I hate Mexicans. And it's like, 
Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty He's got my vote. Yeah. That's pretty controversial. On that note, let's segue to some other politics. <laughs> what you got? Uh, California actually bans private prisons. And I think I talked about this a decent bit a while back for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Dan almost fucking died <laughs> my, cha- my chair my chair unlocked oh, uh, if you ever have like a gaming chair that leans back you know that it unlocks from time to time when you lean a bit and it scared me your eyes went so big like I thought you were you know seeing the future that's the raven style I did anyways, anyways. I'm seeing the future on no more private prisons in California so the reason why pri- like private prisons are a problem is that because they're private, that means that there is some form of profit involved. Yeah. Meaning that the company that owns it obviously has to look out for the best in, uh, for their best interests when making money for the prison because, well, the they got to gain profits because yeah. it's private. It's, it's a subsidized business. Yeah, it's kind of disgusting, honestly. And because of that, it then translates into, like, law enforcement, where it's kind of on the controversial side, but it's like, at what point can we prove that these private prisons are just trying to up the incarceration rate so they can then get more money so then they can keep increasing their profits? Exactly. It, it goes into the whole scheme of corruption and, you know, if the system's really trying to, you know, beat down this certain minority group or if, you know, private prisons in general are just only out there for the profits and not the actual reform. Yeah. Which is what they should be. Mm -hmm. So, California banning private prisons, which also includes ICE detention centers, which is lit, but... Very good. More on the private prisons is, I guess, a really big step in the right direction for our law and judicial system. You know, I... As as my amateur analysis... Analytic skill... uh, Amateur analytic skills... In hand, I would say it's one of the bigger problems that we have as a as a nation. On like, like when you talk about political debates, like I'm sick of hearing about the death penalty or abortion. It's more I want I want a candidate that's more against private prisons because it's a problem with the system. I guess yeah, not a matter of opinion. Well, it's it's like you're saying before. It's hardly about like reforming people, like the whole reason for having prison is you go in do your time learn from it and better yourself but private prison is just go in i'm making money off you i do not give a shit about what happens to you while you're here or when you ever get out exactly like it's one of those things where private prison shouldn't have ever been allowed allowed in the first place like yeah. it's not like a private school you know you're still not trying to better the people it's l- literally you're making money off of people's misgivings and crimes and whichever they could be in there for, you know? Yeah, it's just a one-way street. Yeah, but I thought that was cool and very progressive California. Obviously, we know California is pretty damn progressive to start, but... Yeah, I was going to say. You know, like with the weed thing, you know, it only takes one or two for it to start becoming a regular occurrence. It always circles back to weed. Well, uh, that was just a more recent example, but you're not wrong. Just joshing with Just you. joshing. So, yeah, good on California. Yeah. I've, and fuck the mice detention centers. Yeah, just, that whole thing. I Human beings deserve rights. I don't know, that whole, the whole ice and detention ice, centers. Ice I've tried, baby. Well, no, not, not the ice ice baby detention centers. Where they lock you in a room, that's the only song that plays. Oh my it's god, for, that like, would be... <laughs> it's for, um... I was gonna say that would be worse, but you know that I feel like that's unfair. You know how they have, like, the insane rooms where it's just all cushioned on the four walls? Oh yeah, like the pad rooms? Yeah, the pad... Thank you, I couldn't think of the name. I it's got you. that, but Ice Ice Baby's constantly playing, and... In it, Brick House? It, yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's, instead of, like, padded, it's just bricks. Like, that is their form of the death penalty. <laughs> I think one of the, you know, it's odd that I thought about this. I think one of the one of the worst kinds of torture that isn't actually physically harming someone is having two or three songs that are moderately to severely annoying playing at the same time. Mm. So Ice Ice Baby, Hey Soul Sister, and like uh Insert that Nickelback one song. Muse song. Uh God. Muse? Yeah, the Muse. So they will not... Yeah, that no, one. maybe not that one. That's the only one I know. Regardless, there's a Muse song that I hate. I think it's the Muse. Those three playing simultane- simultane- 
simultaneously. At the same time, <laughs> those three playing at the same time, I would actually go insane probably within the hour. Oh yeah, no. It's too many like different frequencies. This shit fucks with you. Yeah. And it's just annoying. So long story short, I know what we're doing to the next person to cop out at the LAN. Oh yeah. We're just gonna lock him in a room, uh, give him some AT audio, and put three different AT audio songs. You know, we always say we're gonna do AT audio when we're blasted to the moon and back, but no one ever remembers. And well, it's freaking just, great. What's well, also because we, what are we gonna do? Just like all sit at our computers mm-hmm. next to each other, just like, are you hearing this right now? <laughs> I mean, two hours in, everyone kind of goes silent anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, uh, one, no one knows what's really going on. But anyways, um. I'm all for prison reform, and like you said, I hope it's a uh, a spark to the flame. A spark to the flame, baby. And segueing off of that, speaking of spark to the flame, remember when we were talking about music, uh, video streaming services like Apple's one? Yes. Well, they announced when it's officially launching, which I think is November 1st, but guess how much it costs? I You might have already looked at the doc, but... I, I did, but... $15.99? Well, it's actually coming at you for five dollars a month, four ninety nine, which I think is that's really good, quite actually, impressive. Yeah. Like that's that's less than I'm paying for my Spotify Premium membership. <laughs> yeah, but I would rather Spotify Premium than Hey, do you have Spotify Premium? Hey, do you have Spotify well, Premium? Okay, you're not wrong. And then but insert like a million bells and whistles. Well, okay, Netflix. I'm not paying for that. I mean, <laughs> I'm yes, definitely paying for that. Yes, you are. Um, it's like what up to fourteen bucks a month now. Yeah, no, like, four ninety nine a month for a streaming service is really good. I guess that means they have to actually have good shows on it, though. They, I mean, we've talked about it prior, but they did have a couple of shows with a lot of big names on them. I just can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, I mean, those are originals though, and as Netflix has shown. They could be pretty hit or miss. Yeah, but I think it's different because a lot of Netflix originals are just random one-offs with people you don't recognize. While as Apple has a lot of familiar faces, like I know one of them that I've been seeing is uh, they got Jason Momoa on the front cover, which is yeah. I'm always down for a little Jason Momoa action. God, what the hell is that show called with him on it? I think it was C. Yeah, right? something like that. I'm not too sure. But... It sounds familiar. It's either yeah, it's C. It's definitely C. Yeah. It's something that I'm not sure if I will ever get, mm. even if it is only four ninety nine. But it's just the fact that they have it that cheap is very interesting to me. Well, I realize that NBC is also doing their own streaming service now, and they're I think they're calling that Peacock for some reason. Ew. And remember a while back when you're like, is streaming just going to become the new TV? Yeah. Is that what the fuck's about to happen? Because I liked Netflix because I could just go... I mean, Netflix kind of sucks for me nowadays. There's not a lot that's been catching my eye. No. But, but I mean, regardless, it's just easy accessible instead of, oh, I have to wait till 7 if I want to watch the Big Bang Theory. Exactly. But now it's like, am I really going to have to buy all these different services if I want to watch stuff? Well, I mean, I feel eventually um, internet providers are going to stop doing cable and just going to be like, hey, do you want a streaming bundle? Probably. Which would be very nice, but I also feel like... As long as it stays the same functionability. Yeah, they would probably upcharge the ever-living heck out of it. Nah, bundle, bro, bundle! Yeah. Hey, do you want a streaming bundle? It has all the services. Hulu, Netflix, Apple, Disney, NBC. It's only gonna cost you an extra 70. I know your cable bill now is costing you, like, 15, but, like, it's it's yeah, fine. It's it's fine. It's, oh, it's fine. Uh, I did the math. All of those only add up to, like, 45. Mm. <laughs> well... You know, fuck you. Fees. <laughs> Wait, did you say fuck? No, no, no sir. <laughs> sir, sir, sir. I would never say I that. I would never. Drop dead, you fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, what'd you say? Nothing. Uh, nothing. Gee. You know, sir, you're gonna have to calm down right now. I'm really not liking your attitude. This is why I just watch anime, because, well, I get it all in one place. Mm. Even though you're not supporting anyone, you're just illegally watching it. And hey, people are mining you for I your Bitcoin. I donated to Kyoto Annie when they had their thing. You're a saint. I, it's because I really did feel bad. Well, yeah, that one was just... Oh, that pounded me in the feels. Event. Oh, my God. But uh, I'd say... Screw TV! Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with it. I think it's streaming's better than cable, but I just don't like Wait. that it's going to be the norm. I wish they could all just come together and be like, hey, this is our, this is our service. Huh? Like, I wish Netflix just, like, 
stayed the dominant one, all the other ones died out, and Netflix just bought out all their shows. I mean, it's just Netflix doesn't have as much, as much money as the other, and it's literally like... because they keep doing those original. <sighs> no, it's just because it's Disney, Apple, and oh. NBC. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure if everyone's just like, nah, we're not buying Disney service, then they'd have no choice but to be like, alright, Netflix, here's the rights to some of our shit. <sighs> no. Give us money. No. Because that's how it happened before. That's it's how, how it happened. Marvel stuff. That's how it happened before, and then Disney bought basically all forms of entertainment, and now it's... Every... Except for Spider-Man! Spider-Man! <laughs> <laughs> Sony! No, it's like three companies run everything when it comes to entertainment right now, so... Hell yeah, man. The Monopoly system. Remember when you learned in school that Monopolies can't be formed, otherwise they'd be destroyed by the government? Well, I feel like the government... Yeah, Disney. Yeah, I feel like the government's view of it right now is like... What's Disney? Well, no, they're like, oh, I know Disney has, like, all control, but then there's Amazon and Apple. They have a lot of say in it. And it's yeah. like... Um, that's, even if that's equally distributed to be 33% between three companies, overall forms of entertainment, it's still, still kind of a monopoly. Yeah. <laughs> ah, f- like, frick Disney, but also don't frick Disney, I guess. I mean, I don't think, Disney's just making money, they're smart. I mean, yeah, I guess. In their eyes. I don't know, I can't really classify it as anything, because I'm not making Disney money. You know, if you were making Disney money, I'm not sure what we'd be doing right now, but probably not this, or at least in the same format. No, I think we would have um, our own studio, and uh, uh, that'd be great. We'd look like we'd look like the Joe Rogan podcast. Oh, <laughs> could you imagine we get to a point one day where we actually have an office, and like I walk in, you know, take off blazer, throw it on the throw it on the. Uh, Coat rack, that's the word there I was looking is. for. Yep, you had it. And then I like sit down on my DX racer and like <laughs> 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 Alright, so what'd the writers bring for us today, Dan? Yeah. Uh it's looking like a oh, I couldn't God. think of anything off the top of my head, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Plans for the future, money moves. Stay no, that's, tuned. That's the um, that's the five year plan. We're almost a year in. Yep, we're closing in on one, which was the trial period. The trial period. Uh, we, after we rebrand. Huh? Aren't we going to rebrand? Oh yeah, then we're going to become a travel cooking channel where I'm going to we're going to be in an RV and we're going to be constantly moving and we're going to be making five course meals. But Wait. make sure that the driver knows to hit every single pothole. Is the Yeehaw podcast year 3 plan? <laughs> yeah, no, Yeehaw's the, All right, we'll give you the uh we'll give you the roadmap. Um year 2 Yeehaw, year 3 um food on the road, year 4 uh the Armageddon cast, where when the world is falling into itself because of climate change, will bring you the hottest news. Jesus Christ. And then uh, coming in at year number five, we become Joe Rogan. We are Joe Rogan. And we take over everything that he's ever uh, tried to accomplish. Know what I mean? I love Joe Rogan's podcast, It's man. so good, man. It, it's just, it's like the perfect casual podcast. It is. In my opinion. Well, it's like, because you can turn on, you can go through any of the episodes and find, like, oh, I like this person. Exactly. Like, like, I like this guest. And half his episodes are so chaotic, and it's just great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's a, it's a very laid-back chaotic. It is. I like the visuals that he does for his. Yeah. Like, the the video that he does, like, accompanying with his. Oh, yeah. No, I agree. I feel like visual podcasts are... Becoming a more thing that I like, because I like to throw them up sometimes when I'm, like, doing stuff. And, like, get to see the facial expression. Yeah, that's fair. It's different I mean, for me. Yeah, I just never listen. I never watch podcasts, just because I'm normally... The only time I listen to podcasts is when I'm at work or Yeah, if car. you're doing something where you can't actually watch it. Yeah. Makes sense. But there are times where um, I'll slap... Or, I won't listen to the whole podcast, but, like, there'll be the Joe Rogan highlights. Freaking love those! Yeah, I'll watch My those. God. That's how I. That's how I figured out Elon Musk was on his podcast. I was. I saw the Joe. Jeez, I'm stuttering so bad today. I saw the Joe Rogan highlight of it. I'm like, wait, this is a thing. Yeah. And. And he smoked weed on Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah. Honestly, that was that was the money move for me when I was like, wait a minute, Joe Rogan's a beast. He got Elon to smoke weed. What? What? Well, it was like after that, Elon Musk just. I don't know if he's being himself or 
his whole weep stuff as a stunt, but dude, he turned a new leaf after that. Hell yeah! And I like the theory that he went and smoked weed on a podcast to then have his own stocks plummet so he could buy out his own company. That's fair. <laughs> that was honestly my favorite conspiracy to it's come out of it. I I think it's just an overall power play. Yeah, bring back Alex Jones. Um, speaking of. Big companies owning their industry. I don't know if this, if that's fair, but um, there's a porn company. I think it's a porn company or producer uh, called Bang Bros. It's definitely a, a well-known name in the community. In the community. In the community. <laughs> um, but they're planning a ten million dollar bid to buy out the Miami Heat's arena and name it the Bang Bros Center. Yo, high key. Imagine being a sports reporter and being like, all right, Jen, back at the Bang Bros Sports Center, we're going to see how the game's going. We're at the BBC and... The BBC! Well, that's why they did it. <laughs> that's funny as fuck. Well, yeah, they're putting in a $10 million bid to make this meme a reality, and I just want to get your opinions on it. How are you feeling about this? Uh, honestly, it's tame enough to where if a kid's like, why is it called the Bang Bros? They, they could be like... Well, it's where all the bros go out onto the court and just bang out a nice game of basketball. Yeah, you could definitely make that work. So it's n it's definitely not like <laughs> a little too risque for the kids. Yeah, but, but it was it was known as the American Airline Arena and oh fuck American Airlines. He fuck a lot of airlines, but uh, I mean it's not as bad as Spirit, but or um, they're the um. Like, the naming rates are set to expire at the end of the year, so... Uh, Bang Bros made it very public and very well known that they are interested, and they're slapping in a $10 million bid. I like their tweet. We've officially submitted our $10 million bid for naming rights to the Miami, Miami, the Miami Heat Arena. We wish to thank American Airlines for that past support. We intend to change the name to the Bang Bros Center, a.k.a. the BBC. And then their hashtag is Bang Bros Care. <laughs> that's that's something. That is actually a banger of a tweet, and it's just such a big power play. They're like, "Hey, thanks for holding the name for us." <laughs> now we're stepping in. Yeah, I mean, all right. I don't think it'll actually happen on the sole purpose of it's kind of hard to sell to like investors or sponsors that your arena is named after porn. Well, <sighs> but I also feel like you would have enough support from the internet to give it the possibility of working out. You know, that's the thing, though. Like, does this mean now some other company's going to have to outbid Bang Bros? Like, I don't know how the, the the legality of the situation works. Like, do they get just place their bid? And if no, if are they allowed to get turned down, I guess, is the moral of the story? Because well, there's, yeah. there's not anything like really wrong with it. No, I mean, they can the what's it called the he'd have the right to turn down anybody they want hmm regard like say i hope they're on this i hope they're like yeah fuck it that works 10 million yeah bet. i mean even if like that's the highest bid possible they could still turn it down for something more family friendly i i hope they let the bbc go through it'd be it would be a power play it'd but be it, great it'd be fucking fantastic like i said it'd be hard for uh investors and people to get behind it knowing that they're uh products are kind of being tagged along with porn because it's still pretty taboo yeah wasn't there an esports team that was sponsored by like you porn or something that got banned <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> because it's just it's not it's not because imagine a kid goes home and they're like oh what's the bang bro center and they become a man a lot earlier than they should well all right little tyke you you got this yeah but it's just People are going to be curious if they don't know what it is, and then when they find out, they're going to be like, Jesus, okay. I wish I could start a uh, GoFundMe for it, where I just come up with a banger of an idea, and it becomes reality through the internet. If you manifest it, it can happen. Well, if you can rename this arena, what would you name it? And to rename the arena? Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm okay the, with The Frying Pan Arena! Yeah, the, F the FPA. I mean, I'm okay with the BBC, I think it's hilarious, but I, it's I hilarious. just don't think it's likely, I guess. You know, I I wonder what their stance on it is. Like, I hope I hope their stance is public. <laughs> I mean, 
I imagine within the next coming weeks, well, oh my god, I'm yawning so much. Huh. Sorry. They say every time you yawn, you die. Who says that? I don't know. They? They. Okay. They. <laughs> I love that when you're ever in class, and have you ever had a teacher say, uh, when you say they, they're like, who's they? And then you're eh, 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 it's they. 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 You know? Don't question it. I like saying they in essays. Yeah. Definitely, just, definitely doesn't get me a red pen. No, I, I like saying thy. I like speaking in old English when I type uh, my essays. I like speaking English, but I can't fucking do that today. So I, I prefer speaking. I prefer writing in French when I have uh, English essay due, just to really like. Just, when hey, it's done, teach. You never said it had to be yeah, in English. Just to, like hammered home that hey, I'm better than you, and you need to know it. <laughs> My gosh. I'm bilingual. I'm cooler than you. I'm bilingual. Uh, BBC. Bang Bros or Bang, Bang Bros Center. Is that good? Is it a go in your ass? Hell yeah, dude. I mean, I don't watch basketball, so fuck it. I think it's just funny as hell. Yeah. I mean, oh my God. It'll get people talking about it. It'll get people t- I think I'm just, I look at myself in your glasses and I yawn. Because yeah. you know, like when you see someone yawn, you yawn. What's wrong with me? I don't know. Can you actually see yourself in my glasses? No. Yeah, actually, a little bit. But, like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Um, what's the scenario you have here? Oh, okay. So, I was on Ask Reddit, and I thought this was actually a really, like, whack scenario. Like, a whack, whack scenario. Whack scenario. bonkers. I, w- I was thinking about it before I went to sleep last night, gave myself a crisis, but ultimately came out of it positive. Good, good. Here's the scenario. What if you suddenly feel a touch on your shoulder following with these words? Are you sleeping during my class? You open your eyes and you're at your 7th grade math class. All of your life leading up to this point was just a dream and you're just a 7th grader. What are your thoughts? Um, If I retain my dream and I don't forget it like all of them, it's a win. Okay, so the thing is, you don't, you, you don't know the future, but... You, the things you know, you definitely know. So if it's anything that's subject to, uh, I guess, people or things that are going to happen, that doesn't carry over. Say you did a fucking hell of a lot of math classes in your time, you can retain that. You just come out of genius, I guess. See, I'm thinking of it as if I get on top of trends before they happen. So then I become, like, the first to it, and then I blow up in whatever I want to do through that. All right, that's fair. I mean, like, if for us, back in seventh grade, that was... That was a big one, like... Like, 11 years ago? Yeah. Cause... No, 10 years ago? Somewhere around there? Yeah, around there. Because the way Nine, I'm thinking ten? of it is, like, imagine you're in seventh grade... But and that's you... just, like, time travel. Yeah. But, like, you're in seventh grade, and you think, like, oh, I know being a Twitch streamer is going to be big in five years. Well, that would be... So I hop on that because so, I'm early to it, and since I'm one of the first, I'll have somewhat of a following. Mm. Unless it's something like, this is just a dream and it's what could happen, and then, like, say that never takes off, but being a banjo player takes off, <laughs> and i like, damn. Should have been a banjo player. Fuck, I missed out on that boat. You know, I thought of it that way, but to run with what you were saying... You could hop on, like, Vine really early. Because remember when Vine was going out? Those Vine stars got bought out. For, like, oh, yeah. When the, a lot of the people that, like, did Vine, they transition to YouTube and are making... A lot bank. of money. Absolute bank. Ryan's Toy Reviews, it's making more money than fucking I'll ever will in my yeah. entire existence. <laughs> Fuck I'll that. do that shit. Fuck I, that kid. Honestly, I mean, it's not him, it's his parents. But Fuck the kid for having the idea. I doubt the kid. I don't mean the kid, but you know what I mean. I was going to say, I doubt the kid was like... Why didn't I think of that? I doubt the kid was like, I want to review toys on my YouTube channel. Sure, mom and dad were like, hey, I'm going to use you to make a lot of money. I'm going to use you to make a lot of money. You'll get some, but I'm going to get more. But I'm going to get more. It'll pay for your college. Uh, maybe. It'll pay for this mansion. Mm. (laughs) I would definitely do that. I would, uh, since it'd be seventh grade, so that's way before Bitcoin spikes. Oh. I would buy a lot of Bitcoin. I'd buy, like, because at that, I remember when Bitcoin first came out, it was like 10 bucks or some shit. Yeah. And then it jumped up to, like, 
I think at its peak, it was like twenty seven thousand dollars. Twenty seven, yeah. Twenty twenty seven thousand a coin. Yeah, twenty seven thousand a coin, and that would be pretty fucking nuts. I mean, it's also cryptocurrency, so like, you could you could definitely figure out a way to buy it in seventh grade. Oh yeah, yeah. You probably just talk to one of your uh, tech savvy friends, and they got it. Yeah, I'd I'd go to my older cousin. I'd be like, hey, I would like to purchase Bitcoin. I I still have no idea how like cryptocurrency works yeah i honestly i've watched many videos and explaining it i don't retain it at all because it's just one of those things that's just out there for me yeah because i i hear um i'm investing in bitcoin I i'm mining bitcoin yeah I, i'm a bitcoin trader it's like fuck off just shut up just say you're a trader what, what do you trade coins what, what do you what do you got a, a, a 1992 uh north dakota c- quarter you know, it's like... Then a buffalo thing. nickel. <laughs> oh, this is a wheat penny. This is a wheat penny. <laughs> um, but then I also think I would never in my life ever want to have to go through middle school again. Even if I'm halfway through. Because <laughs> middle school was... Mid- like, till probably have the second half of 11th grade, I despise school. I, I always hated school. Mm-hmm. But I never hated school more than middle school and freshman sophomore year. That's that's fair. I'd be like, "Hey, you c- you'll definitely get fatter, and then I won't get fatter because mm-hmm. there's that." Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I could go back in time, start lifting early. No, oh, hop on Xbox Live, text my friends in the group oh. chat. <laughs> Who's home to play some COD? Screw these money moves. Give me back yeah. Halo 3 on a snow day. I, I, are you, what was it? Are you sleeping during my class? I'm like, no, sir. I, I know tomorrow's going to be a snow day. I'm living for the first I, time. Yeah. <laughs> I wake up 7 a.m. I text the friends because I know they're up. Who's ready to play all oh, day? That was the I got a shovel. Money. I got a shovel at one, but yeah, I'm on all day. Oh. Did your friends ever try and shovel timing at the same time? Yeah, that's or we always time shoveling yeah. at the same time. That's why I said one. We'd always be like, "All right, we're going yeah, to we're going sho- at one to shovel." Shoveling at one. To- I'll right, we'll be back like an hour, hour and a half. Mom's yelling down the stairs. Bobby, you gotta go to shovel. Mom, my friends are doing it at two. Can I wait? Yep. Except I always remember, uh, like my senior year, when um it didn't matter. It wasn't the same anymore. Yeah. But like you'd go out and you'd like snowblow or shovel your driveway. Um, I'd always go and do it, and I'd try and wait for when the snow would be done, so that it would just be done and my dad wouldn't have to do it when he gets home. Mm-hmm. But that wouldn't stop him. He'd just go back out there and snow blow the, like, the dirt. Bar- barely coating of snow that's on the ground, because it's just, I gotta do it. And I'm like, yeah, Dad, you got it. You, you got it. I, I always hated that, like, it's, it's like a, like a centimeter of snow. It's like, Dad, that'll be, that'll be gone by tomorrow morning. It's got to get shoveled, Bob. Yeah, it's... No, no, it, no, it really doesn't. <laughs> yeah, my my dad would also do, like, walkways in the snow, mm-hmm. like, to get to the shed and shit. Like, that I understood, but he'd also just be out there till, like, nine. He's like, I could have used a hand, and I'm like, like doing what? 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 what the fuck am I going to do? Look at you? <laughs> Give me a, to be like, hey, you're doing great, Dad. Oh, <laughs> Dude, that's fucking exactly right too. They would like I don't know how they would just find random ass shit to do that wouldn't even been like a subject if you were out there in the first place. Like, just after a snow do- s- snow storm snowstorm, we're finished shoveling already. My dad will still be outside for another three hours. Turns out he was splitting wood. Could have used your help stack in the wood champ. It's like, what the fuck are you doing this now? Yeah. Oh, uh, that my dad was the king of that. I love him to death, but I I I hated him when he did that shit because. Or my favorite is um, I don't know my dad's outside, or I didn't know my dad was outside. Oh. My mom is like, "Oh, hey, I think I think your dad's out there. You want to go see if he needs a hand?" And then I didn't know, so he's almost halfway done, and then I'm like, "Hey, hey dad, you need a hand?" He's like, "Not anymore." And I'm like, <laughs> "Oh, that's the worst." I I just like slump back. And I'm like, "You motherfucker, don't try and guilt trip me into this shit." And did you ever go back inside, anyways? To ever go back inside? Like, were you ever just like, alright, you don't need my help, went back inside, and he would come back and just be like, really could have used a hand out there. Yeah, and I'm like, well, I, I came out there to see if he needed one, and it's like, well, I should have had to ask. Oh my god, I'm like, yeah, okay. It's like, dad, I'm fucking 12. 
Uh, I want to play Xbox. Uh, Hello? Lo- love you, Dad. Don't take it personal. Love you, Dan's dad. I don't know you, but Dan loves you, so I love you. Love you, Bobby's dad. Never met you, but... He's he's alive. I'm sure you're cool. Heard you got some cool tattoos. Keep that up. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah. He's all right. Um, You want to wrap it up before I think my computer self-restarts, because I'm too afraid to hit restart tonight to pick a time. No, 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 don't do it. Just wrap up the podcast. All right, well, it'll do it automatically, usually. All right, I guess screw the, screw the last topic. Well, what was the last topic? I don't know. Did we have one? Oh, oh yeah, kind of. Doesn't matter. Oh, what was it? Oh, Area 51 raid? Yeah, no, that got called off. That got I did, called I off. did hear something about that, actually. But the thing is... Do you think they're still going to be fucking yeah. idiots to go and try anyways? I mean, it's in three days. Uh, the only reason the 20th sounds familiar is because that's what my Verizon bill is, so I won't be there. But... <laughs> that's the only I'm reason. I'm paying my Verizon. <laughs> Screw you guys. Screw yeah, you no, guys. Yeah, people will definitely show up to that, but... For no fucking reason. I think there, there was actually some arrests made like last week for it. Yeah, no, that too. I don't know why. I hope I hope the raid still happens because overpopulation. I mean, I'm curious to find out what's 500 inside. 500 dead at Area 51 raid. Try 500,000, hopefully. Wow. Yikes. All right. All right. Wrap it That's up. been the Frying Pan Podcast, episode 46, folks. Thank you for tuning in. As always, we have social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram. The handle for both those is the Frying Pan Pod. And you are probably listening to us now on either Spotify, Apple Music, Stitcher, Podbean, or YouTube. So thank you for doing that. And if you can go the extra mile and leave us a star rating, a like, a comment, that'd be great. And with that comment, you could give us some constructive criticism, which you could also send over to our email in the frying in the pan podcast at gmail.com because we do this to get better and the best way to get better is through what dan thank you you understood that yeah definitely so on that note thank you for tuning into the frying pan podcast have a great rest of your week have a great rest of your day i hope your life is liddy bye that was bobby my name's dan take care